Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to generate tweets using ChatGPT. So we are going to learn how can you integrate these three applications, Google Sheet and ChatGPT and then ChatGPT with Twitter in such a way that you are going to take the title and the link from Google Sheet, generate content using ChatGPT and then post that content on your Twitter account as a tweet. In this automation that we are going to create using Pabli Connect, our trigger will be add new row in Google Sheet. Our first action will be to generate a tweet or content using ChatGPT and our last action will be to create a tweet on Twitter. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how you can create a tweet on your Twitter account using details that you have updated in your Google Sheets. And also you can create even more content about this specific title that you will be entering over here using ChatGPT. So let us create this automation, quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Reaching here, you can see Pabli Connect that we are going to use to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as generate tweets using ChatGPT. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. Here you can see two windows, trigger and action windows. And these plus buttons are given to you to add more steps to this workflow. Now the trigger application is going to be the first place from where the data will be derived. Even if you're using ChatGPT as a method to generate content for creating the tweet, you need a title that can be mapped from any database like you can say Google Sheet for here. So our trigger application will be Google Sheets and our action application will be Twitter. But in the middle, you will have ChatGPT that will help you generate the content for the tweet. So let us choose our trigger application as Google Sheets and the event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. Make sure that you have prepared your Google Sheet like this with the tweet title and the link for any message or any news or any picture that you want to share along with your tweet. So now Pabli Connect provides us with a webhook URL which is going to be helpful when we connect our trigger application and our Pabli Connect such that every time a new content is added over here in these two rows or any row, any multiple rows, then that will be sent over here to the workflow as a response. As you can see, it's written capture webhook response. So it will start waiting for a response when you copy this webhook from here. So let us learn how you can use this webhook URL. Go to extensions add-ons and get add-ons. Now you have to have an add-on over here that is related to Pabli Connect in such a way that it helps connect the webhook URL. So search in the search bar Pabli Connect webhooks and see this is the add-on you need to install. Like I already have installed it. So once you're done with the installation, it will appear in the extensions menu as well. So now we click on Pabli Connect webhooks and go to initial set. A dialog box will appear over here and here this webhook URL and trigger column is supposed to be entered. So you will copy this webhook URL from here, copy and paste it in this section. And the trigger column will be B. Okay. But before that, I would like to remind that you have to enter some details over here that will be used to send as a response when you click on this send test button. So close this window and enter the title over here as this is the title. And here will be the link of the article or the page or even a picture that is related to this specific title of the tweet. So here we have the link of that specific topic. Now you're going to go ahead with the integration initial setup and like we have already entered the webhook url it will appear in some time so since the settings are already done click on submit the configuration will be set up and you click on send test since it's waiting for a response we have received a response over here this is the title and here we have the link of that specific title now we are going to use the same to generate new content related to this topic with the help of chat gpt so let us choose over here our action application is chat gpt the event will be ask chat gpt click on connect add new connection and then you might need a token to connect your chat gpt and pabli connect so you have to go to this open ai api keys page here it is already logged in into my account you have to log in separately if you don't have a chat gpt existing account click on create new secret key give a name to it new key create key and copy this one and paste it in the token section click on save and it's connected now once all of this is done 
you have to see that the select AI model for your chat GPT is GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is the one you should use. And the prompt will be the, the command that you will be giving to your chat GPT in order to generate the content. So I will write over here, write a short and informative tweet on the title. And for entering the title, we will first put quotation marks, double quotes, and then place the title over here close the quotations then you can give certain commands like don't use url write write in first person and also you can mention over here how many hashtags do you want so i will be writing over here okay so now that we have given the topic over here that you have to create a short and informative tweet so click on save and send test request so here we have the response which will be useful in creating the tweet along with the title and the link that we have included in our Google Sheets. One more thing that you can do for this is go to extensions, public connect web books and click on send on event. Now this send on event will make sure that every time a new row is added over here that will be sent specifically to this workflow in our public connect. So once we have generated the content, let us create a tweet on your Twitter account. Choose your next action application as Twitter. Action event will be to create tweet, click on connect, add new connection and connect with Twitter. Now you might need the client ID and client secret over here. So in order to get these both information, you have to click on learn more, which will take you to this forum page of Pabli. And if, from here, you will find the developer Twitter page. Click on this link and it's the developer platform. Now you have to follow these instructions that are given over here in your forum.pabli page but I will show you straight away how to do it. If you don't have an existing account, you have to select sign up for free account. Because I already have one, I will simply click on get started, projects and app from the left panel, and then select the username of my Twitter account. When you reach this place, click on keys and tokens, and here you will find the client ID and client secret. So copy this client ID from here and paste it in the respect, respective position back to client secret yes you have to regenerate it every time again because it is expired once the work gets done so paste it again over here click on save and give access to your public connect to connect with your twitter account since the connection will be established now that we have connected twitter and public connect we are going to draft the message over here about the tweet that you want to create so click on the blank space and then you have to insert data from the previous step so let us map this value from google sheet first of all the title of your tweet all right then press enter and then you can map the newly created content that you have created using chat gpt once this is done you can press enter and then give a space when you map the link of the content that you have used in your Google Sheets right here. So once this message has been drafted, no code tweet ID or direct message deep link is required over here. You will just simply click on save and send test request and your tweet will be uploaded. And it is here. See, first of all, when the ID is shown over here in any response, which means that the work has been done and the ID is a proof of that content created or that tweet posted, whatever action event you have chosen is done. The text is like this. It will appear in this way. So let us close this window and check that have we created a tweet or not. So this is my profile. I will refresh it. And here we have it. See, this is our title. And this was the content created by ChatGPT. And here is the link that we have pasted along with our content, which means that we were able to create the tweet successfully. Let me close this Twitter developers and open AI page. All right. So now since we have done the creation of tweet on your Twitter account, but there is one catch over here that what if you are uploading the same content all over again on Twitter? All right, the similar kind of response. So if the message stays the same and I click on save and send test request again. So now you can see the response says that you are not allowed to create a tweet with duplicate content, which means that if this case happens to take place, then in that case, you will receive a mail saying that or stating that the status of your automated tweet has been failed. Or if it was successful in the case prior to this, it was successful so a mail can be sent in that situation as well so this last step is just for a backup that you will be informed safely about that situation so it's your choice up to you that you want to add this step or not but i would suggest it's an important one so for this we are going to use a feature by pabli that is called router
Router, as the name suggests, is very clear that we are dividing paths of the responses. If the response says true, so a path will be decided for that specific condition. And if the response says false, then a separate path will be decided for that specific condition. So let us choose the filter and action step for the first route. The first route says that if the Twitter response says forbidden and the filter type is exist. So if the response for your Twitter action step says forbidden, if this step exists, click on save and send test request. It says the condition is true because for now this is there. If this step exists, then the action for this filter will be to send a mail to the user itself, to the user itself about the failed status of their Twitter uploading. So for that, connect your Gmail account, select add new connection, connect with Gmail and choose your Gmail account. Click on allow and it's connected. It's successfully done. Now you have to enter the recipient email address. I am entering the email address that I have that is related to my Twitter account. This is my email address. Now the sender name you can type over here as a dummy name. My dummy for now. Subject is tweet status colon and failed. This is the subject. Now the content will be okay. So this is the email that I have drafted for this situation. Once this is done, click on save and send test request. And the response is sent over here. All right. So once this is done, click on close that you have set this step. Now the second step will be almost similar. Just the content and the filter will be changed. So click on this button and, and clone the step, which means that you are creating a similar type of step. Delete the third one because it is of no use now. Now you open this clone one and change specific settings over here. The filter will be changed to does not exist. That if this title does not exist and some other title is there, click on save and send test request. And this time the condition will say false because it exists, right? In this condition, the mail will be sent to the same person, obviously. But over here, the subject will be changed to success. And here, the content will be changed to this. The content has changed. Click on save and send test request and the mail will be sent accordingly. Once this is done, close this window and here we complete the workflow. So let us go back and check in our Gmail that have we received a mail for this specific condition of the Twitter post. Here we have received the two responses failed in the case of tweet, tweet status failed over here. And in the second case, we have success. This is because we created a workflow. So these are the dummy emails that have been sent, which means that our workflow has been a success. So first you took the title and the link from the Google Sheet, generated content using ChatGPT, then posted it to Twitter and then put a router in the case if the uploading of the tweet fails. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.